Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the clear and the clone methods and I decided to go ahead and put two methods into there when they're kind of fairly simple like that. We can get more bang for our buck per tutorial there, so rather than splitting them apart. I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser to my website, javacjava.com, select begin, scroll all the way down to the clear and clone methods. So basically the signature for the clear is it um, has no, nothing in the parameter list and a void return type. And the signature for the clone, same thing, no, nothing in the parameter list, it has a return type of object. Now that's critical to understand, I'll explain that in a minute. In this tutorial I will demonstrate how to use two methods in the ArrayList class. Both the clear and the clone methods have no parameters in their parameter list. The clear method is self-documenting and does just what you might expect. It clears all the elements from the current instance of the ArrayList. Now the clone method may not work quite as expected. It does create a separate copy of the ArrayList object with the same values as the original. However, it returns an object type, and that means that none of the ArrayList methods can be called except for those inherited from the object class. Okay, I'll explain in the source code here. So let's come down here and highlight the source code. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. Let's go ahead and move the browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new, shortcut, CMD, next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's go and open that up, Java C. It's the Java compiler command. Press enter on that. You should see all this stuff scroll by. Now, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory. Backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory called Java using the MD command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. I'm going to change directories to the Java folder. I'm going to make another directory here called uh, Ray list clear clone. Okay, CD and then tab to get to that change directory so that really fast there. Notepad array list clear clone.java will be the name of my source code file there, also known as a compilation unit. Okay, let's go ahead and control V or right click and select paste to paste this stuff in. Let's save this. Okay, import java.util.star from the Java Util package. That's because we need the array list and we need the collections and we need the arrays class there. So that's the ones in there. Single class name here, name method entry point here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just basically create this array list object that will only accept string um, class elements there, right? And um, I'm going to just kind of reiterate some of my previous ArrayList tutorials by using three different procedures for adding in records into the ArrayList object there. The first one I'm going to do is collections add all. The first parameter is the name of the ArrayList, right? And then basically everything else you put after that is like var args syntax, right? Variable argument syntax. So it'll go ahead and input all of these string objects into the array list, str list here, right? And then at the very end, then I'll go ahead and just use the uh, str list invoking the add method, put in Colorado, and then the str list add all method, right? And basically the arrays class has this method called as list, and that's another kind of var arg syntax there where you can put in whatever you want as far as that. And that will basically create a list object, and then the add all method will basically append that to the end of there, okay? So let's go ahead and save this, and we're gonna just come down here and right here to where we're just viewing this, just so we can see where we're at. CLS to clear the screen. Java C to compile this file, All right? Java to run the Java virtual machine, and we wanna invoke the ArrayList clear clone class. Okay, so the first place we want to come down here is right to this, okay? So str list equals what we'd expect. We'll ask Alabama, California, Colorado, Hawaii, New York. So that was just quick reiteration on ways to get stuff into your array list there. All right, so let's now um, invoke the clone method, right? Now the clone method returns back an object, right? Okay, 
not an array list. And so basically we say object is going to be our type and then our reference variable. So we have a clone list reference variable of type object, right? And we're just going to invoke the clone method from our array list reference here, right? And then I'm gonna display the clone list to the console there, right? Clone lists, Alaska, Alabama, California, Colorado, Hawaii, New York. All right, okay, so the, um, the clone list reference variable is, in, is, in, is not pointing to the original object up here, or instance up here. It has created a whole brand new one that it's pointing to, okay? And so, but I just wanna show you that the instance class, if we use clone list and invoke the get class method, which is inherited from object, right? Um, it'll show you that the actual instance class is class java.util.arraylist. All right, so our object is actually an array list, but our reference variable clone list is of type object. All right, that's going to come into play right here, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do is now invoke the clear method. Okay, so the clear method invoke there and then display to the console the string literal and then post string list. So as you can see after str list dot clear, right? str list equals basically we have an empty array list here. So clear does exactly what we expected. Now on the next line down here, I've got the string literal clone list is unaffected and then displaying clone list. So you can see clone list is pointing to a completely separate object there. Okay. Um, let's come down here. So let's say for example, now the clone list reference variable is of type object, not array list. So we cannot call array methods that are not inherited from object, okay? The object class doesn't have a clear method in it, right? Maybe I should pull up the object class. It's been a while since I've, uh, since I've looked at that. All right. So here's the methods in the object class. Of course, you know, two string, very familiar with that. Get class, we're doing that one there. It equals clone is actually inherited from there, right? Equals so on and so forth there. But you can see there's no clear method here, right? So what we do, what's gonna happen here when we uncomment this line here to try to clear out this clone list, um, even though it is, you know, a type array list here, the object is an array list object, our clone list reference variables of type object. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this here. Let's clear our screen. Yeah, we'll see, let's try to recompile this and we're gonna get an error, right? Cannot find symbol. And it's pointing to the dot operator trying to invoke the clear method, right? The clear method does not exist in objects. So we cannot clear call that clear method there. All right, let's go ahead and recompile this here <coughs> and toy around with some of the stuff we can do. Now, could we do something like this, array list, right? Um, of string, because we're selecting generic there, so an array list of string, new list, uh, reference variable, so that'll be an array list type equals clone list. Can we do that? Because we know the object that clone list is pointing to is in fact an array list, right? Let me make sure I save that. Okay, so it says incompatible types. Object cannot be converted to array list of string, right? And so basically that's not good either. So what we can do to get an, an array list, um, get that, uh, get an actual array list type reference variable pointing to that clone list um, instance is we can cast it here, right? So I'm gonna cast this as an array list of string, right? And it is, it is the compiler isn't going to be happy about it. It's going to give us a, um, a warning, but not an error. It'll go ahead and compile it there. So it's just going to just basically give us a little warning, unsafe operations. If we do a directory here, right? We can see it actually built the, the dot class file, which is the Java bytecode. And so we can go ahead and run this now. Okay. And, um, one thing, oh yeah, we want to print out our uh, our new list here. So we got new list, and let's go ahead and display that to the console here. Let's recompile this. Let's clear our screen. 
Okay, so we can see new list is now pointing to that same array list object, okay? That uh, clone list is pointing to. So we got two different reference variables, one of type object pointing to that array list instance, and uh, one of type array list pointing to that array list instance. All right, so now we can invoke the new list dot clear. So what do you think is going to happen to, obviously, you know, new list dot clear, since it's an array list type, we can invoke the clear method and that will clear out the instance that it's pointing to. And so what will happen to the, um, to the clone list, right? Let's go ahead and just uncomment these three lines. So we're going to clear that and then we're going to display what new list Oh, whoops, this should actually be new list. I'll have to fix that in my thing there, right? And then um, then display clone list after that, right? Let's save that. Let's clear our screen, recompile, and run it. <clears throat> okay. So you can see clone list is pointing to this instance that contains these uh, basic six string objects here. New list is pointing to that. Now after new list dot clear, right, we've cleared out this object right here. And you can see clone list, which is pointing to that same object is now clear as well too. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear out of this, clear out of that, and leave you guys with some final thoughts on this here. So it's always a good practice to check and understand the documentation when invoking methods. Now, personally, I wanted the, the clone method to return an array list type since we were in the array list class, but, you know, that's not the case. So, anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.